welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, I remember, Mindy, Chloe. So much. Hi. Hi. I remember when you guys started. You were blessed by Beyonce. That's a good start, which made a lot of us pay attention. And then we saw your talent. And now we hear, here we are in 2022. You're up for four BET Awards uh, and the, for empowering, your, it, honoring motivational and empowering songs that center on women. So what does this mean to you when you look at how you guys started as these cute little girls to where you are today? What does this mean to you? What has this ride been like? The ride has been crazy and so fulfilling. And every single day I wake up, I am filled with such gratitude that I get to wake up and do what I love. And even right before watching, you know, how Sis and I started with the YouTube covers and even into now how we have both branched out into our solo endeavors. It's really, really cool to see how we are shining individually and also together as a unit. And I am so excited for BET Awards. I have been, you know, grinding it in the studio and rehearsing every night right after leaving film set. So I'm just ready to give it my thousand percent all for BET and hopefully take home win. <laughs> we, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I think you're going to take home a, a trophy or two. <laughs> but I love when you said you've been grinding it. We're so used to the two of you together and now you've decided to take the step by yourself. What's the difference for you being solo and why did you decide to do this now? The difference is that I have to completely believe in myself and I have to stand in my power. Usually if I'm nervous or not, or if I don't feel completely sure about something, I'd look to my left or my right and sis was always right there. And now it's like, I have to fully rely on using my voice and speaking up for things that I want changed or say, I don't like something. And I'm like, okay, no. And it's like, I have to learn how to be my own boss. And what kind of started this solo endeavor with the music is like, I was at home filming Grownish in LA, sis was in London filming the <laughs> Incredible movie. I can't wait for you to see. And I was like, you know what? I have all this music I'm constantly creating. I don't just want it to sit on my hard drive. Let me release it out into the world. And so that's what this is. So the album is finished. I'm so proud of this. It's like I get yeah. to bring out a different side of me that the world hasn't seen. And even now I continue to surprise myself. So it's nice. been a very fulfilling and interesting journey for sure. Nice to surprise yourself. I like that. Hey, Chloe, it's Tony. Uh, you, you use your platform to talk a lot about body image and the pressure that young girls feel uh, to look a certain way. It's been on my mind lately because I've got a 10 year old. She's in a dance troupe. They had their first big recital performance and <laughs> they got these shiny leotards and they're very tight. And my daughter told me that some of the girls were feeling a little uh uh-uh about it. And I thought, uh oh, they're only 10. But right. here we go. This is a whole new era. So what is your message to kids that preteen age uh, who might be thinking like, ah, this is not for me or having body image issues. What I would have to say something that I wish I told myself more of when I was that age, because around 10, I was like a cute little chubby little girl. And I would look around at my friends and I'd see, and I'd be like, why doesn't my body look like theirs? And it's like, <laughs> You have to remind yourself and the youth that you don't have to compare. We are all mm. incredibly made and mm. none of us are meant to be the same. So I think that would have to be the number one thing and to just try to find outlets. So when you have those moments of frustration or feeling insecure because none of us are perfect, especially now with social media, young kids are going through that even more than I probably did. And I'm going through it now as a, you know, a young woman. So I would just have to find an outlet where you can get that, uh, you know, that feeling that may not feel so great out and, you know, mm. take it. From there. So I'm still learning every day for sure but that's what i would have to say yeah as we all are uh nate here uh so you know you mentioned using your voice beyonce has always been one of those individuals that has been a positive influence on young women allowing them to embrace exactly who they are you and your sis you opened up for beyonce on one of her world tours what are some memories that come to mind or even uh, lessons that you take away from queen b Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, even before Sis and I got signed to her, I loved her completely. And I always looked up to her and her work ethic and her drive. And I think now seeing it so much closer, it's even more inspiring where I'm like, OK, yes, it's great to be skilled in music and produce and engineer my music. But I also have to stay on top of my work and, you know, make sure everyone's like, on it and like because if you don't pay attention things slip through the cracks so i think that's been really inspiring watching how she's like been a boss with her own company 
That's yeah, right. she's been a boss for a long time. Chloe mm -hmm. Bailey, we thank you. You know, that new song, You Can't Break My Soul, is out on a scale of one to ten. What do you, you have any critiques for Beyonce? I have no <laughs> critiques. I'd give it a 12. <laughs> I know. I know it's already catchy. You could apply to relationships. It could apply to your job. It could apply to so many things. It could apply to yourself. I love the song already. Already. Thank, thank you, Chloe. Good luck on Sunday. Good luck on Sunday. We're cheering you on.